Thank you. Now, the administration is currently negotiating a wide-range trade agreement with 10 other countries in the Asia-Pacific, known as the Trans-Pacific Partnership. This agreement will serve as a docking station for other countries to join in the future, including possibly China. To that point, just last week, Canada and Mexico were invited to join. Given the scale of this agreement, it is critical that we propose and secure IP protections that reflect U.S. law. With respect to pharmaceutical IP protections, is the administration doing everything it can ensure to, to, uh, to ensure the strongest protections, including 12 years of data protection for biologics? We are. We are doing exactly that right now. We view that the Trans-Pacific Partnership provides a good venue to make sure that we get appropriate data protection and that that 12 years of data exclusivity is something that we are definitely trying to negotiate for right now. I understand that the TPP will be meeting in San Diego next week. It is indeed um, one of the, their issues. Now, I don't know if that specific issue is on their agenda for next week because there are many issues that are being gone through with the TPP, the Trans-Pacific Partnership, but it is on their agenda. Um, and we are constantly pushing to make sure that data protection remains as high on their list as possible. And we don't just use TPP as the venue. We approach data protection from a wide variety of directions um, to make sure we have a consistent story and everybody understands our position and the needs of U.S. innovators. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back. I thank the gentleman.